Hey guys, I'm Zell. In today's video, I will be sharing a DIY that I recently made that can be used for a dining room or a kitchen wall. All the materials I used in this project were from Dollar Tree. This was a pair of utensils that were silver, so I spray painted them a matte color of black. Once they were both dry with some glue from a glue gun, and some rope as well from Dollar Tree. Um, I just added a little bit to both top parts of the utensils and then I went ahead and added some little rope so that I could be able to hang them to the wall. Then my next item was just an arrow that I picked up from the craft section at Dollar Tree and I decided to use a stain so that I could see the wood. Um, so I did a dark stain for it and that was it. For the next piece, I printed out letters that spelled eat and I cut them up and used them as a stencil. Then I traced the letters on top of a foam board and I cut up the letters using a knife. I found that using scissors was just a little bit more difficult. When you cut out the letters on foam board, they do tend to be really messy, but you're going to cover them up, so it's totally fine if they look pretty crappy. I used this jute rope from Dollar Tree that was kind of thick and I just used my glue gun, traced it around, And I did that until the letters were fully covered. Once they were covered all from the front, I went ahead and did the side of the letter as well so that when I hang them up, they're completely covered in rope. And this was my final result for this side of the wall. Then for the other side of my wall, I'm going to use these three little squares um, that you can find at the Dollar Tree. They have some wording on them. So I used acetone to take off the wording and it doesn't come completely off as you can see. You can kind of see the shadows of the lettering, but I was okay with that. And to display wording, I don't have stencils, so I use these sticker letters that you can find at Dollar Tree in different colors. I painted over them with just regular paint, uh, the color that I wanted the, the words to be. I wanted to spell the word yum, so obviously I did the Y-U-M, painted them black, and then just stuck them on there. I sealed it with some Mod Podge. I don't know if it would make a difference if you don't do it, but I just went ahead and did that. I was not very satisfied with my letter U for some reason. It just did not look great to me. So I went ahead and just painted the whole silver part of it black, let it dry. I ended up cutting a little bit of some jute rope and then just glued it on. Um, in the shape of a U and I like this um, look a lot better than the other one. And for the final piece, I'm going to make a floral holder using one of these cake pans and a foam board. I traced it. I'm only going to do half of it because only half is going to be covered. Again, when you cut it out with scissors or a knife, the foam board tends to look really messy, but don't worry, you're going to cover it all. I used some jute rope as well, and then I stuck in some foam. I glued the foam first, 
um, against the pan and it, it wasn't in like the perfect shape, but you're going to cover it up. So it doesn't really matter. Um, so I glued that on and then I put the piece of foam board on top and used a glue gun for this as well. And then once it's glued on, I added even more glue to the top of the foam board and I added in the jute rope to cover it all up. Um, the only thing that I did not get from the Dollar Tree were the greenery. I believe I got that from Hobby Lobby, but you know, you can find plenty of greenery at the Dollar Tree as well or wherever it is uh, that you prefer to shop at. And this was the final result for that side of the wall. And this is how it all came together. I was super happy with the results. I think my wall finally looks full. It just had the mirror by itself for the longest time. I had a ton of fun doing this project and sharing it with you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed watching. Feel free to like, share, comment, and connect with me on other social media platforms. Thank you guys so much for watching.